So Brooksy sent me a bunch of broken um, blades that he's found over the years. I told him if uh, he was looking for a spot to store them to send them to me or some of them so that I could uh, maybe bring a few of them back to life. And here is one. It's a strange little blade. To me it looks like it was probably a skinning blade. And the way it was relieved back here I would imagine it had to have been hafted into a handle and these big thick um, sections right here in the middle probably could have even been part of the finger hold and then a handle back there to hold on to as you skin something. I can't really make much else out of it so that's kind of my theory probably a handled skinning blade and obviously it's received some breaks through the edges over the years looks like they left a lot of the original outer material um, on because they just were interested in getting an edge I'm not worried about the thinness of it that again leads me to think it was probably more of a tool like a skinning uh, blade but this is one I think that would uh, be a lot of fun to bring back to life, so I'll get going and uh, try not to break anything. So here's the piece after I trimmed it up a bit. Try to keep as much original as possible. Took just a little bit out of this here so I can uh, haft it a little easier. Left a little bit of a serrated edge on the top two-thirds there and then made a nice straight line with a pretty nice edge on it and then just took out those little chips and breaks that happened over time it looks a lot cleaner and it's gonna haft really nice I've got an old um, shed from a spike elk that uh, be a little bit of a challenge because it's pretty old but it's got a nice shape to it and it's going to fit this wide very wide base and angled uh, stem on this blade so anyway that's where we're at so far well we finished made a sheath a little belt loop a little patented leather strap and bead there to hold it in The uh, original creator of this blade definitely was not looking for aesthetics, but made a very functional blade. So that's kind of the theme I kept with. Tried to keep all the original flaking that I could as I straightened out that bottom and top edge, took out those little breaks. And that's the important part. I wanted to make it functional again. Not that it will probably be used. It's got a sharp edge and some serrations here now. But the fun thing is to keep as much original as possible. One more artifact brought back to life. Hopefully he enjoys it. I think it's fun to display.